Urban seems to indicate that the, the defense is a little extra mojo, maybe because you finally feel like you're getting healthier. Is that the way you would assess the situation? Yeah, I agree. You guys are finally uh, starting to knock off those little nicks and bangs that we had earlier in the season. What does that mean for practice, Draymond? Because I, I, we talk a lot about how injuries affect game day, but how do injuries affect practices? Same way. I mean, when you're all hurt and banged up, you don't have the, the motivation to drive because, you know, you can't do anything. So it's like hard to really get into it. But now it's starting to change. Those guys getting healthier, does that include you, Draymond? Yeah, I'm starting to get healthier. Sure. How is it? What has really been bothering you? you know, so we haven't talked to you in a couple weeks about that. What has slowed you down? How hard has that been to deal with? I feel like what slowed me down was my foot. I had some uh, trouble with it after the Penn State game. But I feel like finally trying to get over it. Is, is that something that you just, I mean, it probably is going to hurt you in some respect the rest of the year. Is that fair? or mm -hmm. Okay. How do you try to manage that throughout the week? Does that cut down on practice time or anything like that? Yeah, come, cut down on some of those unnecessary reps like, that the young guys maybe like don't um, need to do extra stuff sometimes. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Are, you, are you like uh, ticked off? Like, man, mm -hmm. I have to deal with this thing. You had the stuff last year you had to deal with, or is it just part of football and part of life? Part of football. I mean, you're gonna get those little injuries. I mean, I'm not really injured though. Like, it's like I'm just hurt. Like, I'm not really injured. There's nothing. That, I'm not gonna be out for a game, or so I'm not really too ticked off. But I'm, it's annoying that it's there. Hey, Draymond, when you're in a game. Do you just kind of lose track of it, or is it something that you feel every play? No, I mean, you can if you get in the moment, but, like, you feel it, though. You feel it. I know, so, I know you go hard every play, right? Mm -hmm. But especially when you have something like that, like, is there going hard every play, and then it's like, okay, it's third and seven, and I'm really going to go get them now and get a pass rush here because, you know what I mean? It's like you can't go maybe a 1,000% every play. Do you have to manage the foot? in some ways and make sure you save it for the really big moments or you just no never man you're gonna play you're gonna play you don't be saving yourself or anything there's not a special moment each play is a special moment whether it's first second or third or fourth for, for a minute have you noticed i mean y'all been talking about chopping the tree chopping the wood whatever you know to get better is this going what did y'all get better at last week in your opinion that's going to carry over if you follow my drift from the stopping the big plays, et cetera, where, where did you where did where did you see improvement? Um, just being more, say, having more energy on the sideline and in the game, having more a lot more fun. Um, and just play recognition. I think we were able to to dissect the offense a little bit better than usual. But you no, know. is it possible for a defense to get a lot better from like game five to game twelve? Of course, I mean, you can have a... I mean, a defense. What did I say, offense? I meant defense, yeah. Yeah, but, um, of course. I mean, it doesn't matter if you gave up zero yards, which, which would never happen, but yeah. it's always a, a way to get better. Yeah. So you, you thought guys were having more fun yeah. on Saturday? I feel like in the past, we let big plays get to us a little bit, but I feel like uh, this past game, we kind of just let it go and just realized that one point at a time. All right, we, we know what JT was like. We know you guys had a lot of fifth-year seniors last year very vocal about that kind of stuff. When this team has had tough moments this year, how have you guys picked yourself up? Who have been guys that helped this team keep its head up in tough times? Um, I would say myself, guys like Keandre, tough. Um, Chase steps in, Coop steps in. We all find a, kind of find our moments BB. We all kind of find our moments and just pick and choose when to say something when needed. You say Keandre in there. It seems like he's been struggling to get into that linebacker rotation, but you know, what is it that provides a lift for him? Do you, do you guys think that he could see some more action with uh, that defense down the stretch? Because of Keandre's personality, he's not a uh, whether he's playing or not. He's not a quitter. You know, he's going to be out there helping guys out no matter what it is, either he's playing or not. What's the? He gave you guys a lift there on special teams. Mm -hmm. What's the sideline like when you? This is a guy that you talk about his work ethic, and he makes a play that really helps you guys win. You know, what's that like on, on the sideline? I mean, we get, we just appreciate his effort and what he does for the team. I mean, I love him from, for him to be out there, but you know, that's my decision. So when he is out there and when he does make a play, we're just all in his head, hyped for him. Like hey, the block punt the other day? I mean, what did that do for him and the team, the block punt? Uh, it created a lot of momentum. Yeah. created a lot of momentum. I mean, but in him, what'd you see? I mean, like you said, you the see same, him. The same always, person, yeah. the same person. If he wasn't out there, he would have been the same way. Yeah. yeah he, realized, he realized that, you know, we got a whole game to play. See, when I was asking you a while ago about the defense, so, you know, did, did you get to watch the Alabama LSU game Saturday night at all? A little bit. Did, did y'all have aspirations of being that kind of defense, I'm talking about Alabama's, as the season started and 
do you still see a potential there to get get to that level? Uh, Drew, like, Michigan State games seem different to me, and I'm someone who's either in the press box or, or watching on TV. Two more questions. I imagine then it would feel really different for a player. Am I, am I right? And if so, how is a game against the Spartans different than the average game? Um, one, it doesn't matter their record. They're going to play us like they're whatever, no. And um, in that stadium, it gets rocking. They can get going. They, they're a good team to, that feeds off their crowd, and we got to find a way to minimize that. Where do they do well on offense? What just stands out about what you've seen of them on video? Uh, no, the way they run the ball. I think they're really good at running the ball. I think the quarterback does a really good job of managing the game. Are you preparing you guys... for both Spartan quarterbacks? Or do they have different styles? No, I know the backup is more of a, a runner, and we've, we've seen that, and we're going to get a plan for it. You, you guys are in one. Rival is, or is everybody Ohio State plays feel like? It kind of feels like that. Everybody we play is just somebody that wants to yeah. get all over you. Yeah, every, every game is a championship game, it seems like. And last question. You, you guys are 8-1. and one. How much fun have you had this year? Has it felt fun this year, or has it been tough sometimes? I mean, every team has that moment. We have that. We had that bump last year when we lost to Oklahoma and Iowa. I mean, there, we had a bump a couple weeks ago. So, going to be ups and downs in the season. But, you know, the best thing to do is to find a positive and just enhance off of that.